say you can't get good sound out of a console. Well, I beg to differ. What I've done here is I've taken this Magnavox Astrosonic 100. It was their top of the line in around 1965. And I've connected a CD player to it. Now these things usually sound dull and lifeless, but this one does not. It's got full frequency range, enough to piss off the neighbors. It gets very, very, very loud. And it's full tonal depth. It's got good highs, good mids, good bass. And what I've done here is I have connected it to a five band equalizer and a small preamp. And this is how I'm able to get the good sound out of it. Now the auxiliary inputs or the tape loop inputs or whatever usually aren't good enough for these. It'll still sound dull and lifeless. So what I would uh, best recommend is to use the phono inputs. Unfortunately it has to have the phonograph on spinning for it to work, but you can still use the phono inputs to get sound out of it. So um, the thing is, the phono inputs on these actually have, um, they're, very, they're high Z, so a CD player will actually sound distorted and terrible through it because that's a higher line level. So you take a preamp so you can mix that down with a very low line level through, and then pump it through the stereo and it sounds just spectacular. I mean, this sounds as good as any one of these uh, receivers that I have over here. So just a little uh, food for thought there. When next time you, you decide to turn your nose up at a Magnavox Astrosonic, just remember that uh, with a little bit of work you can make one of these things really, really jam. That sounds damn good. So. Crystal clear, no distortion at all. Nice deep bass, clear highs. That's my little uh, essay for the evening. Hope you enjoyed.